Hey everyone, I am the man called Ant, and today is day 14. Two full weeks of not eating food. Woo! Um, <laughs> that's, that's pretty exciting. Like I said, it's the longest I've ever gone. I've gone 12 days before, but uh, 14 is a milestone for me. And tomorrow is the last day. The wife has mixed up a massively awesome looking... Uh, instant pot full of traditional Chinese bone broth for me to break my fast with tomorrow. Have a look here. Excited about that. Holy crap. Can't wait to get that into me. Um, yeah, and I just have so many ideas moving forward. Um, so my fast officially stops tomorrow at noon. Um, so noon is the key time for me. So, uh, at around noon, I will be having a glass of water with a tablespoon of some organic apple cider vinegar. Yay. Oh, flavor in my mouth. Oh my God. I can't wait. Um, yeah, it's uh, uh, it's going to start off with that and then a short time later, once that's had a chance to kind of mingle around and talk to the guys inside, we are going to tuck on into that uh, bone broth and see how that goes. I really, really can't wait. Oh, it's going to be so good. So good. Anyway, what else? Today is day 14 and I'm not sure why, but I decided to take today to take uh, an after water fast photo, even though technically it's tomorrow. Um, tomorrow I'm going to be busy uh doing other things so i i thought well what the hell I'll get out of the way and i just felt like doing it so um one thing i did do is uh you'll notice that on the wall over here the t-shirt's down that's because i actually pulled it down and i thought well this is a large i haven't technically fit into a large and i literally don't know how many years but uh it looks really small, seems really small. Let's just try it on, see what it looks like. So I did. So yeah, um, it feels like I'm squeezed into it uh, like a tube of toothpaste, but it's not, uh, it's not uncomfortable. I suppose I could wear it in public. I've seen people wearing shirts like that in public, but... I'm just stretching the crap out of it, but it, at least it goes on my body. Well, that's my goal shirt, is I want to wear that particular t-shirt loosely. I thought about making this video in that t-shirt because, uh, you know, just to show everybody what it was, but yeah, I don't want to stretch it out completely and then a week later say, oh, look how loose it is now, <clears throat> when it's just that I stretch the crap out of it. This is one of the t-shirts I've been wearing <clears throat> all along through my videos, and as you can see, it's very, very baggy now, very loose. How this do is, how do you do do? A uh, 2XL, so uh, we'll see, we'll see how that goes. Um, but yeah, uh, sorry, I got distracted by the how do you do do. So, um, yeah, so I, I took some pictures in that, <clears throat> and after, I don't know, a while, we'll see how it continues to fit as I start weightlifting, um, doing my yoga. Um, I'm going to be doing a schedule of um, three days of yoga and three days of weightlifting a week. When I say yoga, I don't just mean traditional yoga. I do a very uh, calisthenic rich version of yoga it, it kicks the crap out of me it's awesome but yeah um <clears throat> it's gonna be good it's gonna be good uh so yeah i took a picture of myself in the gold t-shirt today and i took some other pictures of myself wearing the same t-shirt that i was wearing on day five and for whatever reason i didn't take pictures or anything on day one i think day one i was just so down and in such a bad place and so worried that uh I, I didn't want to take pictures of myself. I didn't, didn't want to be seen in public. Um, so around day five, I thought, well, I better get this out of the way and take a before photo. So I, I took a before photo and then I took a photo wearing the same t-shirt again today. And here are those photos. Let me know what you think.
So obviously after 14 days, I did drop a lot of weight. Again with the scale, now my scale, look at the scale here. You can see that it goes up to 300 and then past it is just doubling over. When I stepped on it on August 1st, it went to 320. So does that mean I was 320 or because it's not accurate beyond that point, was I 310, was I 305, was I 318, was I 350? Who knows? I'm going to safely say just within the range of 300 and 320 that it was 310. So today I stepped on that same scale and I was 270. 40 pounds. People say that's not possible in such a short amount of time. Well, if it's possible for a skinny person to lose one pound a week, um, why isn't it possible for a person with so much extra crap and waste in their body um, to lose more? Um, it, it defies logic to say that everybody loses weight at the same amount and in, in the same way. Um, yes, naysayers, a lot of it was water weight or some of it was water weight and it will eventually come back once I start eating. But I'm bouncing up and down the stairs. I'm looking forward to being able to exercise and do things that I wasn't able to do two weeks ago. There's no way I was looking forward to going walking, if not in the future, light jogging in the park. Um, there's no way I was looking at coming home after working 12 hours and lifting weights. Whereas now, I am absolutely looking forward to those and I am capable of doing. So that's the biggest difference right there. Um, I can, so water weight be damned. Uh, if it gets the process started, why is that a bad thing? So anyway, enough about that. So 40 pounds down. Um, the pictures I haven't altered in any way. I haven't stretched them out or photoshopped or any crap like that. Uh, they're just the same pictures with the camera in this pretty much the same spot. It's hard to always get the exact spot unless you leave the tripod there the entire time. But um, yeah, it's it's uh, it is what it is. So 14 days of water fasting, and now we go into phase two. Well. Tomorrow we go into phase two. Uh, tomorrow I will not be um, doing any egregious exercises or anything like that, depending how I feel um, after that bone broth, if I get a burst of energy or if uh, you know I just, just feel good about life in general. Um, I'm thinking of dragging the, the old missus out of the house with me because she's sitting in front of her computer making videos all day. She needs to get out too. Um, to go do some shopping, to go do some keto shopping. I, there's a bunch of stuff that I would like to pick up so that once I start refeeding in in earnest this time, not just after the fast, but in earnest, start actually start living the keto lifestyle. Um, I want to be prepared. I want to be able to do the delicious recipes that I've been watching people do online. I want to be able to eat those same foods and experience those same delicious things in order to motivate me to keep going. Uh, so yeah, um, we're going to go do some shopping tomorrow. Maybe even we'll get a Costco membership, you know, because that seems to be the way when it comes to keto, a lot of people say, you know, Costco is the way to go. Anyway, this is not a commercial for Costco. It's just an idea. But anyway, shopping, possibly um, refeeding and seeing how we go from there. Planning already for day two of the refeeding process. I'm going to make myself the most kick-ass soup in the universe, as I've discussed with you before in my soy milk maker. And uh, yeah. That's going to be a blast. I wonder if soy milk has lots of carbs. I'll have to look that up. Anyway, guys, um, that's it for day 14. Um, I hope you enjoyed the videos so far. Um, I'm going to be making another video either tonight or tomorrow showing the process for the um, bone broth that the missus made, the wonderful Chinese traditional bone broth. Um, I'm sure it's going to be delicious, and I'm going to show you those first few sips and let you know just how good it is.